President Joe Biden has just refused to take executive action in order to help secure our borders. Now, many experts now predict that the border crisis may become worse as some states look as if they're encouraging people to come into the country illegally. Now, this doesn't match up with what President Biden's saying in his campaign. He says that he wants to close the border, but he won't act on it. He pins the blame on Donald Trump and Republicans and pretty much says that they're the ones that are holding up this entire process. Meanwhile, illegal immigrants continue to flood through Arizona and California. California due to their very relaxed border policies. Something that some cities are now starting to see. So the state of California made waves earlier this year when they announced that health care would be free for illegal immigrants. And I'm an American citizen. I can't get free health care. Maybe I need to leave and come back illegally and then I'll be taken care of. So anyway, this led even more people to come in and flock to the state where they know that they'd be taken care of. But it's not just health care anymore. California is now providing legal aid to illegal immigrants who are convicted of crimes. I know it sounds crazy, but it's absolutely true. It's almost like handing out get out of jail free cards to illegals. So anyway, so the bill was introduced by Assemblyman Reggie Jones Sawyer, who is a Democrat, by the way, and it's called the the Representation, Equity, and Protections for All Immigrants Act. Its aim is to use taxpayer-funded legal aid and extend that to illegal immigrants. So this money would be used for convictions that they might face as they stay in California. Now, before I really go into this and show you how messed up this is, all I ask is that you take one second and drop a quick like for the video. I totally appreciate your support. And I wanna thank you so much for sharing this video on Facebook and X, Twitter. We really need to get the truth out and save our country. So Joan Sawyer argues that this is a step forward for racial justice, although the crimes that they'll cover would be for violent and serious felonies. The money would come from the One California program. So this program provides $45 million in grants every year to nonprofits to provide free immigration legal services, which means that if an illegal immigrant is convicted of a violent or serious felony, then expect the state of California to fund his legal help. Or to put it a little bit more bluntly, it's taxpayer money that would ultimately be funding this aid. A controversial bill which would greenlight taxpayer funded legal aid for illegal migrants has some Californians up in arms over concerns it could help violent criminals stay in the United United States illegally. Jorge Ventura has been following this one closely for us. Jorge, break this one down, this bill for us. How are lawmakers making sense of this one? Yeah, good morning, Marcus. So right now there's a nationwide debate across the country on just how much services should states provide. Well, a new bill right now in California looks to give illegal migrants legal services for the first time. Right now, California state law does not allow grant money to be used for legal aid for illegal immigrants who are appealing a serious conviction like a serious felony or a violent crime. But AB 2031 or Representation, Equity and Protections for All Immigrants Act would remove that stipulation widening access to more services like interpreters, social services and litigation costs. This bill is expected to be heard in the Assembly Judiciary Committee in Sacramento later today, but it's already facing pushback from some Republican lawmakers. Legal Director at Central American Resource Center, Camila Alvarez, says that they're proud to champion this protection of human rights, civil rights, and racial justice to all immigrants. Now, just to be clear, a violent felony can be a lot of things. It basically means a crime punishable by imprisonment for a term exceeding one year or any act of juvenile delinquency involving the use or carrying of a firearm, a knife, or destructive device that would be punishable by imprisonment for such term if committed by an adult. That could also be linked to burglary arson or extortion, the use of explosives, or otherwise involves conduct that presents a serious potential risk of physical injury to another. <laughs> Duh, right? Now, besides their own residents who would feel cheated out of their own tax dollars, some are saying that the state needs to prepare for an influx of even more illegal immigrants because those who may have been convicted in other states are for sure to try to get in. Now, these individuals could come from all the way from states like New York, Florida, Colorado, Oregon, I mean, just to name a few. And this is just California that we're talking about here. There's no guarantee that this kind of policy doesn't spread out to other states because the border is 100% the top concern for many voters in 2024. And this is why some analysts are just completely puzzled by what the Biden campaign has recently just said. So President Joe Biden has recently said that he doesn't plan on taking any executive action to address the record number of illegal immigrants crossing our borders. Instead, President Joe Biden's putting all the pressure on Congress, which has critics in a frenzy because 
They're saying that the president can't even lift his pen to work for the American people. But there is something that a lot of folks might be missing here. We are in an election year. Every move that he makes will be scrutinized under a microscope, especially by Trump's campaign. Many experts are seeing the situation and it may be too late even for executive action. So what this means is that President Joe Biden's holding off on something that he could have done months ago because it's for sure going to affect his presidency. The problem that he now faces is just how many voters will forget that he created this problem. A problem that got exponentially worse when he used executive action to get rid of Trump policies. You see how voters are going to be looking at this? It's also the reason as to why some believe that Trump is in so much legal trouble. Because the short-term goal for the Biden campaign is to make Americans just forget about his mistakes by highlighting the mistakes of Trump. The White House continues to try and get the bipartisan bill that they say will secure the border. The issue, though, is that it seems to be funding more Ukraine and Israel compared to our own problems, which has led to another budgetary proposal from the Biden administration. So the president looks pretty determined to get funding for the border. So he's basically set his sights lower and lower each time, but every time it just keeps on getting rejected. So initially, President Joe Biden, he wanted $13.6 billion from Congress in order to secure the border. This was targeted at hiring 1,000 more U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers, as well as 1,300 more Border Patrol agents. Now, the money was also supposed to equip the southern border with new technology, technology that could detect drugs and other other illegal substances without the need to open up each and every truck that's going by. The tech would also have done something to help track humans that may be getting smuggled through vehicles. As we all know, this budget was not approved, which now brings us to a much more recent request from the Biden administration. So instead of the $13 billion, they're now asking for just $4.7 billion. Now, as I mentioned, the Biden administration is downsizing the amount that they want. Many experts question this method since it can be very confusing for some people. So on the one hand, the White House may be lowering the request budget because they just keep getting rejected. But on the other end of the spectrum, you got to ask, why didn't they just ask for the smaller amounts first if this could still help bolster security at the borders? Is it because they just wanted more money? Well, that's what some critics are starting to say now. Now, we know how New York Governor Kathy Hochul is approaching this dilemma right now. They've had a request for the help of the National Guard to protect their residents. Now, of course, that was after she banned them from having rifles to protect themselves. Others, though, they're not as lucky. Louisiana, for one, had to declare a state of emergency. Their governor, Governor Jeff Landry declared the emergency because they lacked the necessary manpower to protect their people. Louisiana has a police officer shortage, and it's just really not a good time to experience this particular problem. This is because crime is spiking in all different parts of the country, and not having people to protect us is one huge concern that the American people have. In fact, officer resignations have gone up 47% since 2022. Now, this was somehow influenced by the mandates that officers were under, primarily those that wanted them to get jabbed up. The expectation from experts is that more states will declare a state of emergency, which is only a matter of when. Now, at this point, that's the only inevitability that many Americans are seeing, especially as the current administration is refusing to do anything about our borders. But what do you guys think about this? Now, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to continue to keep you guys informed on everything that's going on. I want to thank you so much for dropping a like for the video. Thank you for sharing this video on social media, and I'll see you guys on the next one.